Hello everybody, how about you? I'm fine, how about you? So today we're gonna make, um, hmm, hmm, chat up? Yeah, yeah, chat up! Reading a doctor and a patient. It's gonna be very interesting. So what are you ready for? Let's start. First, let's make a new app, right? Let's make, we need to make a new app. Um, the name will be MediChat. MediChat Four. And the character health, um, community, games, tools, information, and yeah, description. Create. I will create a database also with you, a database in the Firebase. Okay. Quickly open, 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 open. Is that opening? Okay. Let's see. Let's open it from here. Good. Now let's open it from here. See it here. I will stay here and then later on we will go there. Let's first allow it to start. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, now it's working. Okay. Good. Right. So for this first, we will need to make. Um, some, oh my god, we need to make three screens, we need to hurry, okay, we need to hurry, okay, first, we make three screens, first will be roll, roll screen, then it will be chat screen, and then it will be end screen. End screen, good. Now first let's see the roll screen, okay? Let's see the roll screen. Um, let's see the roll screen first. Okay. All gone. Okay, I've decided. The roll screen. So in the roll screen, we will first start. Okay, so first we'll add a column. And below it we'll add a row. Below it we will add one more row. And below it we will add one more row. The third row will be row patient ID. Patient ID. Below this, we have to add a column. Let's do this bit contents. Bit contents. This also fit contents. This also fit contents. Let's do all fit contents. Do better. This also fit contents. Oh, no. Column. It will container fill container we will do all like this only that's better fill container fill container good now this will be here there will be this who are you there will be a label Label. Let's add a label. Okay. We will add the label. The video is much too bigger, right? We will add a label. Let's spotlight this. 
We will add a label. The label is added. Now we will write here. Who are you? It will describe you are a patient or a doctor. Font size will be very big. It will be 30 or bigger. Okay. Now we will add a color. Now we will go here. Um, I will show you a nice website. Okay, it's called icons8.com. It's loading now. Can you see this is the website? Okay, this is the website. It has many illustrations. So I'm choosing illustrations and it will show me a lot of illustrations. So I need to, I just want a knock knock illustration. Knock knock illustration. It has thousands of illustrations. Look. Let's see this. And we will download low quality PNG. It's downloaded. I will go here, click on the, this, and we will set a background picture, upload files. Let me close this. It should come. Or we can just add it into the roll screen, it will come totally. it's coming right or we can just edit in edit it in paint okay so i will show you how to edit it okay wait no don't wait i'll show so what we'll do i have taken the picture i will go to my file explorer go to downloads this is the bermuda knock knock delivery arrived i will right click on it then i will i will search for open with says open with and click on paint okay it will show me this right now what i will do i can resize it there's one option i have to resize it but with this it will lose it's like wait i'll show you one thing wait a second I think one other application is applicable for that. So what you can do um, when you download this picture, you can open it in photos only. You can open it here only and then go to um, resize. Okay. Define custom dimensions and then just change its width. 200 save resized copy to 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 save. Now you'll see 222. Two, two. It's way too small. We will resize it here from here only then. Right? You will resize it from here only. Resize, define custom dimension. We can make this 230 width and height 113 save resized copy 1 2 3 we will go to 1 2 3 why is it showing 1 2 3 like this so what you can do it's good if you do it like this only okay you can go to i can say it right go to i can say it hmm? Then you can search here for icons. Knock. It will show us a lot of icons. And I can see illustrations also. Door illustration.
Oh, illustration will be good. Yeah. I can download this. Download. Free trial. Download it. Go to Tunkable. Take this back screen. Then I'm just closing this. Background picture. Upload files. Flame Force Ring 9. Now wait for it. Let's preview it and check. Ho. Ho. Forty will be good. Preview. Because it comes a little bit smaller. Alright. Now this is coming. Hmm. Should I tell you one thing? It's actually not looking good. <laughs> this background picture with this will look better. It is looking better, right? I can remove this background picture. Good. And now I can I have to add text inputs. And the last one, label. I I will show you a trick also, okay? This um we will name this one as Doctor Column. The column. And then this one as Patient column. Okay, so we will add text input in all of these three columns, like uh, except column three. Then Login button. This will be login button. And we will type here login. Not double G, only one G login. Here I will write. Oh, we're trying to add one switch also. Oh, I missed one full. Let's add one more row. We need to add one more row. We have to add one more row will be which will be above here. Okay. And here we will add one switch. And two label. And we will um, set the horizontal alignment as space around. Space around. Here it will be. Um, we can name it as. We can just name it as. Um, patient written. <laughs> Anything. Written. Patient. And we will write here. Patient. You will change the switch to this position value false okay and this will be doctor written doctor here type doctor name Here, type. I'll show you a trick. Patient name. Now here, type. Patient ID. Text input. 
patient ID text input. Here we will write doctor name test input. Doctor name text input. You know, these are also all text inputs. Thunkable is nothing without text inputs. You'll see this is a text input. This is a text input. This is a text input. Everywhere text inputs are like we are typing something the keyboard is made for type to, to uh, is made to make text inputs right it's for text inputs nothing is possible without text inputs okay so what type doctor name doctor name text input patient name text input good 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 so now we have done everything right hmm? of the screen right partially everything now we need to go to the chat screen hmm? and we need to add two invisible components okay okay um hmm. okay so here we will add uh oh 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 oh, oh. what we will add here we missed one thing, okay? We missed one thing here. You know what? Guess it. Guess it. Guess it. We need to make this row invisible. From here, visible, false. But first, we will do one thing, okay? We will we will make. Add a text input. Text input. Sorry, not here. Here. And this will be space around. Space around. Okay, so there's not a space here. So I can do the heights fit contain fit contents with also fit contents. No, fill container, fill container. I can add this, like, I, first let me delete this. Okay, let me delete this. And I will add it from the design, okay. I will add it here. Oh, wait. I will can add it here also, but mm, 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 type amount to be paid by patient here. But let's not make it too complex because it, I don't have that much space left in my this drive, in my thunkable drive. I've already made so many heavy apps. Oh, about 5 MB is only left. It makes very heavy. Okay. So we will only do it like this. And we will make this column invisible. Invisible. Good. Now we will go to chat screen. We will add one row. Not draw. Row. then one list viewer which will be outside the row mm, and then one more row will be below the list viewer here in the row 2 we will add a label okay which will say conversation it's up to you what you want to add. You can add a text input also. You can add anything. Conversation. And then the row, I will make it fit content site fit contents. Now here also I will I will add 
one text input and a button which will be button send which will be below it okay so here i will type send and i will type button send here i will type um text input message input good and i will write here type message here i've added two extras remove those okay this is done now we will change the we'll make this fit contents good now we need to make the end screen we will do the end screen in the ending after doing all the code okay i will just um and okay we'll do it in the end oh let me do it now only what will it take nothing um the label You can change the vertical alignment from here also. You will write here. Thank you for using Medi Chat. Okay. Thank you for using Medi Chat. Thank you for using Medi Chat. Make it thank you label. Thank you label. Please pay. Please pay the money by by using Paytm slash phone pay. What is this? Please pay the money by by using by using Paytm, Phone Pay, um, Google Pay. Why can't they just give an option to delete it right by dragging it there? Okay, good. Now we need to get the code. Right. A something very blank. Let's take another icon from iconz8.com. The best illustration and icon site. Good. Don't think that I'm any, doing any promotion of this site. Hmm. There are many better sites. <laughs> it, say, it says that it is the, this is the best, but actually, this is not the best. We all know, right? Um, <laughs> okay, what can you search? Thank you. Thank you. Illustration. 
everything is here. Thank you. Thank you for portrait. So that we can get the full view. Oh, this is nice. I just love you. But still, it'll work. Here we go. Background picture upload. Upload files. CD hands classy. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Good. <laughs> Now we need to go to blocks. Cut. We will make a normal cursor. It's way too better than having this 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 type of cursor. Okay. Cool. Let's start with the code of the roll screen. Yeah. Let's start with the code of the roll screen. Oh wait. I missed one element in the chat screen. The end button. We missed the end button. And oh, there's this date input. I'm going to explore every single components in my summer vacation. In my winter vacations, I say. Hello, here. No, above the row. Okay, where has it taken me, man? Okay, I did. I think I did something wrong. Control Z. I think I added it here. No, no, I don't want to delete roll screen. Okay, I will go to chat screen. First, I will close this roll screen. Hmm. Now will now I will add a button. Button end. button end good now we'll go to blocks of the dual screen hmm and what we will do let's see 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 we will take this button one okay now what is button one i will tell you what is button one this is login button okay Login button. When login button click, we will take four if twos. Only if two. Okay, you will take four if twos. Just duplicate it three times. Put one inside the other. Good. Now we will take a not block from logic not okay and then we will uh, see from switch one get value no not here above here now we will take set app okay oh, oh i forgot one thing i forgot we need to initialize the variables okay we need to initialize the variables So let's initialize three variables. Okay. First is roll and it will be set to empty string. Okay. It will be sent to empty string. One will be name. And now if I will see the variables, 
Okay. Yeah. Hmm. One will be name and one will be patient ID. Patient ID. Make it small. Patient ID. Hmm. Variable initialized. Now we will set app variable role to PT. Okay. We'll go here and set app set app variable role to PT. Now we will take an AND operator. We'll go to logic and take an AND operator. This AND and OR. Okay. Now we will take two unequal operators and two null blocks. And two null blocks. Hmm. Now, um, here we will um, do text um, text patient name. No, what is text and put uh, text patient name? Okay. 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 Now the text patient name is patient name text input. Get. Get text. Now we will copy this, paste it, and here we will put patient ID. Patient ID text input. Now in the do, we will take all this nonsense, not nonsense. <laughs> um, we will take this variable nonsense. <laughs> yeah, kind of variable nonsense, but it's not basically variable nonsense. First will be app variable name, then it will be app variable patient ID. It's very important to follow the sequence of the code, okay? Very, very, very important. <laughs> okay, so this is app variable name, app variable patient ID to PD, PD. Let's remove this. Move. Good. Now we'll take from, um, from the patient name text input, get text. Um, now we'll do this from patient ID text input. Good. Now this is the now we will take this navigate button. Navigate to chat screen. Chat. Chat screen. Now what is the trick to make this cursor down is put the uh, bracket from the bottom okay now it's flowing look then you can move it from anywhere okay now we will take from switch one get value again not no we need to take we only need to take from switch one get value no not okay no not logic block now we will take set up variable role to dr okay to dr what's my battery oh my battery is 19 oh. wait i will plug in my charger yes now in this if the second if we will do the same thing okay just we will Copy this and paste this. 
we'll just change this one. Doctor name text input, okay? And from do, just copy this. Oh, okay. Yeah. C control V. I have variable name. It will set. Um. Yeah. Same. It will. It is all the same. Navigate to chat screen. Good. This is done. Good. Now, now let's move on to the next part of the code, which is in this screen only. Okay. Which it is in this screen only. Okay, now we will initialize an app variable. Okay, so that will be patient list and it will be empty list. Mm, patient list and from lists we will take empty list. Okay, now we will take when switch one on value change. Okay, now we will take if operator. And we will put this, drag this new value and keep it here. Now we will take the set app variable role which will be in variables set app variable role to dr r from patient column this is patient column from patient column set visible to false you will take it from here only from logic. Where is logic here? To false, we will copy paste this. We will put here doctor column. Visible to true. Okay. And we um, this is this is done for this. And now we will take one more if. One more if go to control. Take one more if. Okay, now we'll take the we'll go to logic and take not and we will take this new value and keep it here. Good. Now you will take the same. Okay. Just you'll do the opposite things. We will set this to PT. We will set this to true. And this to false. Easy. Good. Right. Now what we need to do. I think this one is done. Yeah. I think this one is done. Mm, yeah. This one is done. Let's go. Oh, we need to link this. We need to link the real time DB. What am I doing? I just forgot to link the real time DB. So bad, right? Hmm. Good. Here we will go to Firebase settings. Now, please wait. I'll link one. I have opened one of my databases. I'll go to I'll go to project settings. Wait for it to come. 
I will take the API key. Where is Firebase API key? Now I'll take the database URL. Database URL. Good. Wow, it's such a big. <laughs> It's linked. Now we'll go to chat screen. Blocks. And what it'll do? Um, we will take the if to or else block. No, wait. We will first take the button C end one. Button end. When button end click if do else okay we will take this if do else and we will take an equals to operator we will take um, app variable role variable equals to dr dr this is a very complicated app you know um, and then there is this. There is this thing. Um, navigate to screen and yeah, we don't need to do that things. It's we are just doing this um, to make sure that it's working. Okay. I just doing it just to make sure that it is working. Oh, this is done now. A little bit of code is left. Mm. Now we will initialize an app variable. Initialize app variable conversation. Enter. Now we will make this empty list. Empty list, empty list, empty list. Now we will take the send button. Button send. When button send click. In real time DB call save. Key will be join app variable patient ID slash length of app variable conversation. Okay. We will take this join block from text. We will add one more item here. We will remove this as cause when you need this. Okay. And then we will take this app variable patient ID. App variable patient ID slash um, length of real lists, I think. Yeah, length of remove this list after length of app variable conversation. app variable conversation we will take this again okay and we will take here app variable name we will change this to this and from text input one get text Now watch the X input one. What is the X input one? What is the X input one? What is the X input one? Like, um, you know what is this? Do you know? It is it is text input, message input get text 
good. And this is done when save is done, everything is done. Mm. Now last one is done. Last one is left. Two more blocks, right? Two more starting blocks. We will go to real time DB. No, we will uh, go to chat screen. When chat screen opens, do in real time DB one call add listener so that it can um, inform the real time database that we need to work. Wake up, we need to work. Okay, like this. App variable patient ID will be the key. App variable patient ID is the key to the future. Jokes about. Now let's say go to real time database and take the data change to block. Keep it anywhere. Now we will take an if do. Okay. And we will take an equals to operator on equals to operator. Then we will take good logic and take null. Good. Null. Good. Null is good. And equal. We will take this value. Now we will take from list viewer set text items to value. Set app variable conversation. Set app variable conversation to value. Done. Good. Let's go to rule screen and live test. Let's check. Doctor, oh yeah, look at the fastness. Just look at it. I'm in love with it. Look, it's just directly removing it. That's the key to the future. Login. And it's coming, I think, and it will take us that good, 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 good. So, this is it for today. So, this is it for today. I will meet you in the next video. Until next time, it's Sound Fun signing out or zooming out.